previously on the search for the next doll. Ah, oh, you bitches. The girls traded insults as life in the loft turned ugly. Dude, Asia danced like drag queen. I'm thinking in the back of my head, I'm going to knock this girl out right now. Asia took a stand. If someone says something to me, I'm, I'm going to go ballistic. And Cicely felt shut out. I feel so stupid. <laughs> At the elimination performance, Melissa S. struggled to find her inner doll. Melissa S., you have a long way to go. And Cicely didn't fit in. Don't leave me this way. What's Debbie Harry doing in this group? In the end, Cicely was told to hang up her boa. Cicely, you will not be the next pussycat doll. Early mornings, long rehearsal, and 24 hour commitment. really begins. Don't you. you guys, we're the final six. That's crazy. What? We're the final six in the nation. Why do you feel like Cicely got eliminated? The truth of the matter is Robin knows what she wants and if Cicely is not the next Pussycat doll, then she's not. I've been in the bottom two twice already and like when you're there, you can't not help but have that go through your head like, well, you've already been there, so maybe you're the next one out. Congratulations, you are moving to the next round. Thank you. I thought she was gonna make it a little bit further in. You know, I did, but I mean, I'm biased too. <laughs> like, that's my friend. The pressure's starting to get to us and none of us feel safe. I have to really prove a lot to just stay here to just stay in this competition. I feel like I really need to work on my physique. I've been eating cake, like, because I'm stressed out, but I need to work on my, because you girls are little, <laughs> little any minis natural. Anastasia is self-conscious about her figure because a lot of us are smaller than her. I feel like eating. No, I'm gonna go find something to eat. Wait, I'm gonna go with and I'm gonna do some cardio, because I haven't done that yet. <laughs> Yeah, by walking in the kitchen, that's your cardio. I understand Anastasia's having a problem with her weight, because I've been there, I've lived it, but in the end, it's all about willpower. I need to fit in with the Pussycat Dolls, and my weight has been an issue my whole life. You guys, we have a Play Me sign. Aloha, Ceci Wahines. <laughs> a pussycat doll doesn't try to be sexy. She just is. Sexy is in the way you carry yourself. Confidence is very sexy. Now it's time to show us your sexiness. Robin is waiting for you. <laughs> Hi, girls. As we already know, if there's one thing the pussycat dolls are, it's sexy. But the challenge is, feeling sexy with very little sleep, having to get up at five in the morning, do your own hair and makeup, and be ready to perform on stage all in the same day. So, you'll be going to one of the sexiest cities in the world. God, oh God. Here to tell you all about it is the manager of the Pussycat Dolls, Jeff Haddad. I booked you a show tonight in Las Vegas at the Las Vegas Pussycat Dolls Lounge. You'll be performing the song Tainted Love. You're gonna pack everything you need. You'll be learning the choreography with Robin and Mikey, doing your own hair and makeup, and you'll also be styled for tonight's show on the bus. This is a challenge. You have to arrive ready to go on stage and kill it. So the winner will be safe in the next elimination. So you better do well. When Robin announced that immunity was at stake, I was just thinking, wow, I've really got to do well here because, I mean, I don't want to leave this house. And you leave in an hour. Bring your bathing suit! Woo! It's Vegas, baby! Oh my God, why did I eat so much yesterday? We 
are traveling to Vegas to perform in the Pussycat Dolls Lounge. I'm so pumped, but I just hope that we're gonna be able to pull it off. Girls, so you've learned your song. Let's start the dance. And side, front. Okay. Strong. Bam. And bam. And up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Right, left. Yeah. Woo. We're like trying to stand up and dance, but the whole time we're like falling into each other and like colliding. Arms everywhere, legs everywhere, just feet and like hair flying. It's like crazy. Oh, Okay, who does that? Who learns choreography on a moving bus? Can somebody please tell me? Because clearly, I didn't get that memo. Chelsea, I know we're on a moving bus right now, but you gotta put more into it right now. Because I don't, are you gonna be ready tonight? Yeah. Okay. Here I am in these stiletto boots that were sliding all over this wood on the floor. And like, I'm not like a full hardcore dancer. I'm not the, you know, oh yeah, I got this. Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, this is how the Pussycat Dolls do it on tour. Got to figure it out in the tour bus. <laughs> as soon as we learn the choreography, we have five minutes to eat, and then we have to get fitted for wardrobe. Does somebody want Although turkey? I, I have turkey. I'll have turkey. Here, so honey, I'll be I'm sorry. I don't eat healthy. I don't eat like a bird. I can't eat vegetables and crap like that. I'm a simple girl. I like and cheeseburgers and french fries. Like, God, why is that so hard to get? I'm from freaking New York. It's just so aggravated. She's PMSing, right? We were given these lunches, the sandwiches and stuff, and Asia lost her mind because that's something that she doesn't eat and how she wants meat and how she wants this and she wants that. bunch of really great looks for you. The theme is gold because we're in Vegas, baby. All right, let's go. It is really cute. Who's next? Um, okay. What size are you? This is such a disaster. And then give her one of these so it's a top. Try that. And then just make it really tight. The dresses, they were just not flattering. It was like, Oh my God, just fit me in all the wrong ways. So the only dress that did work was like skin on skin. Her dress kept rising in the back, her boobs were out. It makes her feel even worse, like she's getting like really fat. You have to be really conscious of um, this dress because it's very yeah. fitted. Okay. okay. 